Hello everyone, my name is Patrick and I welcome you to part one of many to many eloquent relationship. So in this episode, we're going to be looking at how many to many eloquent relationship works and how to define them. So in this relationship, we're going to use an example that is mostly used in many websites where you have a user with many roles and those roles are also shared with other users in the same website. So let's say, for example, we have a user with a role of one admin. That role is also shared by other users in the same same website. So to define this relationship, we require three tables. And the first table is the user's table. We have the role user and the role table. The user's table, obviously, we store the names of the users. We have the role user, which will store the ID of the user's table. That is the user ID and the role ID from the role table. And this role user is a pivot table. And a pivot table is like an agent or a mediator table which manages the many-to-many -many relationship between two tables. And then finally, we have this role table, which will store the names of the roles. So let's go back to this pivot table. And we have said the pivot table is like an agent or a mediator table, which manages the many-to-many -many relationship between two tables. And the name of this pivot table is derived from the singular names of the related models arranged in alphabetical order. That's why we have the role, which comes before you in alphabetical order. We have role underscore user. So let's see how these roles are shared. So here we have the users table with some users. We have the, this pivot table called role user. And then we have the roles table, which has some role names. So as you can see here, we have a user called Patrick on the user's table. His ID is one. And then on the pivot table, you can see user ID is one. And then the role of that is one. So if you check from the roles table, you see ID one is admin. Then we have another user called James with ID two. On the pivot table, you can see his ID, his ID is two. And then his role is one. So if you check from the roles table, you again, you'll see role one is admin. That means we have two users who have the same role. So we have another user called Joy, who is not on this pivot table. So again, you can see we have another user with ID2, who is James. He has another role called Reader, which is ID3. As you can see now, he has another role. So that means we have two users with the same role and one user with more than one role. So to define this relationship, here each table will be connected to each other using the foreign key. And many to many relationship will use the belongs to many for relation. So what you're going to do first, you're going to install a new Laravel and then in the next episode or part two, we are going to be looking at how this relationship are defined on the tables and on the models. First, let's install Laravel. So I'm going to install Laravel. So Laravel new, and I'm going to call this project as many to many. Like that made it to many install so as you can see it has completed installing so let's cd to that project which is cd many to many So now we can go to the browser and check whether we have installed properly. So I'm just going to type many. Dot test. Enter. So as you can see, we have this view. That means we have installed our Laravel. So in the next episode, or then in part two, we're going to look at relationship between the tables and then the models.
Sin Part 2.